Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist here at Thanksgiving Point. Today, we're talking about everyone's favorite subject, poop. So here at the Butterfly Biosphere, we get hundreds of questions every single day about insects, and probably about a quarter of them are about poop. Check this out. Do bugs have butts? What does bug poop look like? Do millipedes poop soil and why? Do all bugs poop and do butterflies poop? So poop might seem kind of funny and gross, but it's actually really important and it's something that an entomologist think about every single day because if our bugs are pooping, that means they're eating. And if they're eating, they're probably healthy. So we love poop. Poop is a good thing. So there's another topic we get a lot here and that is what do bugs eat? And that's a really important and related question because the things that you eat and the way that you eat are gonna affect your poop. So let's look at a whole bunch of different bugs, talk about what they eat and how they eat that. And then that's gonna tell us a lot about their poop. So an insect that we're probably all familiar with and you can go into your backyard and find right now probably is an aphid. Now aphids and their close relatives like uh, cicadas, they have a straw for mouth part and they take that straw like a Capri Sun and they stick it into a plant and they slurp it up and they're drinking a bunch of sticky sweet juice and their poop ends up being just like sticky sweet poop too. In fact, their poop is so sticky and sweet like the things that they eat, it's called honeydew and you can actually see it glistening on these leaves right here. It's covered in poop. Now that poop, there's so much of it and it's so sicky sweet that a lot of things like ants will tend to insects like this and they drink up their poop because it's a good food source and then ants can sting so they offer protection to these insects. It's a lot like the relationship that we have with cows. We drink the milk and we protect them from other animals. Okay, so there's another close relative of those aphids. It's actually a little bit more closely related to things like box elder bugs. This is called an assassin bug. Now this also has a sucking mouth part, but this is a carnivore. It's attacking animals. Look at that mouth part, man. It's like a knife. So it takes that thing and it jabs it into an animal and then it'll inject it with digestive enzymes and slurp up that digested insect. And its poop is gonna be very similar to that of the aphids, but it's darker and it's meatier because it's been eating animals. Now there's a close relative of this guy that lives, actually some of them here in Utah and down throughout Central America, they're called kissing bugs. And the reason they're called kissing bugs is because they take that big old mouth part and they'll crawl onto your face at night and they'll stick it into your lips and they'll drink their blood. And then they poop right on your face. And the problem is they carry a parasite in their poop that you then scratch into the bite like that. And you give yourself this parasite and you get a disease called Chagas disease. We don't have to worry about it here, but man, it's a really big deal in a lot of parts of the world. Now those last two insects, the bugs, they have sucking mouth parts and they're drinking plant juices and pooping out juicy poops, right? But this is a giant prickly walking stick. A lot of insects, like this insect, have chewing mouth parts. They're eating solid materials. In this case, this one eats eucalyptus leaves and there's a lot of fibrous, undigestible material in there. And so their poop is more compact like little pellets. That's called frass. Here's another animal that has tiny little claws and it rips things out and it shoves it into its mouth and its poop is a little bit different. It's the same kind of pellets, but because scorpions tend to live in such dry habitats, they have super, super dry poop. And scorpions like this, they only have to eat like once a week or so. So they're not actually pooping that much. But here's the craziest thing about scorpion poop. Look at this guy right here. Where do you think this guy poops from? Most people would say, oh, if it's like a cow, it's gonna poop from right back here, but underneath the tail, wrong. Dead wrong, and here's why. That tail is actually an extension of the abdomen, and things like this poop out of the end of their abdomen. That, right there, right before, it's mooning you right now, that is the scorpion's butt. They poop from right at the very end of the tail. You have no idea how happy I am. I'm not walking around all day with my butt hanging right above my head. Okay, so we've talked about insects like bugs that have a sucking mouth part and they're drinking plant juices and they have very liquidy poop. And we've talked about insects like giant prickly walking sticks that have a chewing mouth part. They're gobbling up plant material and they have that solid poop called frass. Now some insects like butterflies, and this is the caterpillar of a butterfly, they go through this radical change over the course of their life called metamorphosis, and the juveniles like this guy are completely different from the adults that'll be flying around in a couple of weeks, right? So this caterpillar right here, it's gobbling up Indian paintbrush, and it chews it all up, and it compacts it, it gets the stuff that it needs, and it poops out hard little pellets called frass. So this is an adult butterfly, and unlike the caterpillar, it has a sucking mouth part called a proboscis. Now, the proboscis of this animal is all curled up. It knows when it wants to eat because they taste with their feet, gross, and and that tongue will unfurl when they're standing on something they want to feed from and they slurp up all their plant juices. And as a result, their poop is very liquidy, similar to like the bugs we saw initially. But here's the crazy thing. To go from a caterpillar to an adult butterfly like that, you have to go through your metamorphosis and they do it as their pupa like this. Now, this thing is actually alive. It's digesting stuff. It's generating poop, even though it's not eating. And after a couple of weeks, it has a whole bunch of poop built up. So the first thing this thing will do when it emerges from this chrysalis is let down that big old distended abdomen full of poop and bah, just lets it all go, man. Whew, that's gotta feel good. 
All right, guys, that's about all we have time for today. Plus, you've probably already had your fill of poop, but we talked about a whole bunch of different types of animals, what they eat, how they eat, and how that dictates what their poop is like. But most importantly, insects are animals and all animals poop. So if you like this video, please like the video. If you have questions, leave comments down below. We'll answer them down there or just come here in person because I want everybody to learn about these amazing animals. And please share it with your friends, subscribe so that everybody can keep learning about amazing topics like poop.